Sometimes abusers of people's rights try to make up for it after they get caught by their wives. The liars of America like to play openly and stay in the shadows until they realize that God lives in the light. You see, the Lord Most High did not tell you to sexually assault someone. The Lord Most High did not tell you to rape someone. The Lord Most High did not tell you that you had the right to disrobe someone on behalf of your company in your job just to look them over so you can take a photograph to show other people in your life. The liars in America are often in medical practices, clinics, and secretarial pools. The liars in America are often in retail stores, and they like to panhandle just the same, except you don't know it, because what they do is they make a cash register receipt, and then they delete it in seconds, as if someone didn't have enough cash or enough money to do it. The liars of America will walk away with petty cash, especially during the holidays, so we have to make sure that our entrances are not congested and are handicap accessible. We also have to make sure our aisles are free of boxes and debris, but sometimes people are so understaffed by the fact that the supervisors who've been there for eight to plus years don't want new staff because it makes them look bad, don't want to hire them and often fire them. And sometimes the people who come into work there take advantage and mishandle things. When a man is doing his life, he does not need someone else's wife to try to tell him how to live his life. What he knows is that God places people on our paths for our own education, our own lessons, but also for a blast. But what I can also tell you is that sometimes blasts from the past don't last. And they don't last because the individual has still not grown, has still not earned their right to be there. Sometimes God just says, okay, you failed me so many times in so many ways and I'm just going to have you go suffer in this relationship you chose for you instead of listening to the one that I chose for you. And as a result, you might do all sorts of things to you. You might change your face, you might change your hair, you might change your clothes, you might change your kids, but none of it's for the better and none of it's for God.